Thanks for joining me. What we've got here is the Honda EU 70 IS generator inverter, and it's time for an oil change. The, uh, the generator requires an oil change every 100 hours. So um, if we flick it on, we can see on the dial when we're on number one, the hour reading on here is saying 393. So uh, you can see on there 393, so it's well due a, uh, well, it's due another one. We'll get it done just before the 400. So this is the fourth oil change that this has had. And uh, yeah, let's get on, let's see how we do. It's a nice, simple job. We need a few tools though. So uh, first of all, we've got some oil. Um, Honda State, anything from a 1030. Um, you've got a 1030, you've got a 530. This is 030. It doesn't say that in the manual, but 030, if it's a really good quality oil, is spot on. It's compatible with this, with this generator. So um, yeah, that's not a problem. We'll get that in there. I love this fully synthetic um, Shell Helix Ultra 030 cracking oil really good quality oil and it just works wonders with the machine we do need a couple of other tools we need a screwdriver big screwdriver there we need a 12 millimeter socket um, I've got a little extension there which makes life a bit easier also we need something to drain the oil into it it only holds one liter of oil what I find is really good for this is an old milk bottle just chop a little hole in the top I'll just switch that off a sec while it's starting to flash we just cut a little hole in the top of this milk bottle, something along those lines. And if I do it at the butt of it here, that's what I'm doing there. Just cut a nice hole in there, and then across the top. So we've got a, we've got ourselves its very own oil can, and it's low to the ground. It's nice and shallow. We haven't got a lot of clearance, and this fits perfectly. So, let's get on. Let's spin the machine round sideways. We've got to go in through the side door. Okay, can you see where we are? Can you see what I'm doing? Right, here we go. So, big screwdriver, straight in the side there. Pop that half a turn and the flap opens up, which reveals inside here, we've got the oil filler, and we've also got, just here is the sump bung. Let me get you down a bit closer. Right, here we go then. So what we're gonna need is this little cam we've got here that fits underneath the generator nicely. In the bottom here, we've got a rubber flap. So we just grab hold of this rubber plug, and we just pull it down, and that hangs out the bottom there. So. We've now got a hole through the bottom. You can see my fingers coming up there. We can put the there's, there's makeshift oil drain can under there. We'll get a socket. We can crack that off with his hand there. We'll just get that out of the way for a minute. You can see there the oil level hasn't dropped at all. This hasn't used any oil. It's still right at the top, which is just brilliant. Testament to the design of the machine. It is fantastic. We can get a socket on there and we'll crack off. There we go. Take that off for a minute and we can undo the bung. Nice and gently. And once we get that out of there, the oil will start to come out and drain into his new tub at the bottom that we've made. Careful not to lose the washer on there. See the nice alley washer. Don't need to change that alley washer. It will do numerous times, um, numerous oil changes. Uh, once it gets deteriorated and a bit skanky, a bit flat, whatever, you can replace them with a new one. Uh, links in the description for this set here. But it shouldn't do because we're not doing this up really tight. We're just gently putting it back in again. So um, you shouldn't need to go too mad with that. Right, let's put that there a second. I'm gonna get a bit of, bit of rag. And there it is in all its glory. What a beautiful bit of machinery that is. And that oil there is just draining out nicely into his makeshift container. And the beauty of that, you can pop the end off it to uh, tip it out into another container to get rid of the oil. So it's, uh, it's a really good idea. Engine's warm, so an important thing to do is to have the machine running, get it up to a warm temperature before we do this job. 
it just makes the oil run out really nice and smooth and uh, gets rid of any of the dirty stuff in there it'll just run through still streaming out the bottom a little bit so we'll just let it run right through so something else that we really ought to mention is, is one of these this is um, a clean funnel uh, it's fantastic it's got a little cap on the top it's got a cap on the bottom so when we're not using it we can keep the caps on it and keeps it absolutely spotless because you know what it's like in the garage you leave a funnel out if it's got no lid on it dust debris gets in there and we're going to put our strain to the engine so these clean funnels are brilliant really good tool for this i put a link in the description you can get one off amazon i think they're only about six quid really cheap so oil now has sufficed there it's uh it's a well it stopped it's not coming out anymore got a really slow drip we'll just give that a little wipe down there and we can get us bung back in again just give that a little clean just check that wash and make sure it's got no burrs or marks on it it's not it's absolutely clean as a whistle it's fantastic so we can now drop that back in again just making sure we don't cross thread anything and it goes in nice and sweet I'll even start it with my fingers there we go I say that because it's not perfectly straight the frame does interfere slightly so uh, you could get it across threaded if you were a bit brutal with it it is only an aluminium um, frame uh, um, it's an aluminium block so we've got to be careful we make sure we do get it in straight so that's gone up there nicely we can now just nip that up you can see how much I'm putting on it because it's such a short ratchet so it doesn't need a lot just nip that up like that we'll clean up around the bottom here where we've had some just a little bit of spillage into the frame there and I'll get this uh, makeshift oil can out of the way look and there we have it and you can see the mucky oil in there and to be fair it's not that bad you know it's uh, you've seen worse oil than that and that's only one litre there's one litre of oil there which is uh, you know Unbelievable, really. I think that's the same as that. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get that out of the way for a minute. But like I say, let's give this a good wipe round underneath as well, where it's make sure we've got all the all the rubbish out of there because we don't want that dripping into the uh, well where we've got the generator sat or into the back of the van when it's being carried. Make sure we're completely dry on this. We've got all the oil up from around the edges. I think I will just give that a little blast with the carb cleaner just to make sure she's spotless. So what we've got here is the comma carb carburetor cleaner. And that'll get rid of any, any oil that's still stuck on there. I can wipe that off. Just make a real proper job of it then. Get that off from anything that's down in the frame there. I'm gonna go through again. Let's get it. Make sure we get it all off this this rubber. Let me bring you down here as well, so I can really show you this flap. Yeah, inside here you can see this. You can see this rubber flap here, and uh, it just literally pops in. Pops in the bottom there, and there you go. And it is literally just push fit back into its hole, push it in, pop it out. Important we put it back in because without it, it does allow a bit of noise out. Um, and you can it's surprising how much you can tell when there's a hole in the frame of the extra noise that comes out of the machine. Now, oh, let's go for the refill. So I've got my clean funnel. Take the top off it take the bottom off it making sure that uh, we don't get any dribbles out of there because there's a little bit in the bottom cap there right so that's in the machine now we are spotless in there that's got a gauze in there as well just in case take the lid off as oil so we've got as oil let's uh, fill her on up now we're going to fill this right to the top of the threads so once we get it up to the top we can stop. I've put a piece of um, I've got a piece of paper towel in there just to uh, if I overdo it just slightly just to save any drips. We want to be cleaning up again. 
And uh, there we go, we're about there. Let's take that off. The great thing about this funnel is once you've finished, we've got this little cap there, we can pop that out, pop the cap on the end, and it saves us getting any drips anywhere else. So we've got that, then we can put the top on. Brilliant. Keeps it all nice and clean, you know, keeps everything, makes this easy to store. Saves you getting oil everywhere, saves getting any dirt in there, any dust. So that's, that's that sorted out. Now then, what you can see here, I've got my little paper towel there. Oil's right up to the top of the filler neck there. Let me bring you down just so you can see that. So we're right up to the top of the threads on there, just where we need to be. Now we can get us cap and we can drop that back in nice and gentle. We can do that up just finger tight. There we go. And that is it. That's your oil change complete. How simple is that? It's a cracking bit of kit, everything's accessible and uh, nice and easy to get the job done. So I'll put links in the description for all the bits and bobs you'll need to do the job. I really rate this oil, this um, Shell Ultra Helix, brilliant stuff. Um, like I say, it's a nice simple one. Generates good for another 100 hours and uh, yeah, let's crack on. If that's been of any use, drop me a little thumbs up. Any comments, drop me some lovely comments. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.